I'm Julie Blanner, and today we're talking about organization. I believe home should blend function and design. It's time to think beyond plastic bins and label makers and get creative, using everyday items to make your home more functional while adding to the decor. Well, we use the same concept in each space, whether it be a bathroom, mudroom, living room, kitchen, items will be used in a different way in each individual space. When you're organizing, you're using two different kinds of storage open storage and closed storage. Open storage is what you actually see without having to open anything up. It's what you see as you scan a room. Closed storage is what's hiding underneath my girl's beds. Just kidding. Closed storage is inside of a cabinet or a drawer. It's items you can stow away because either you don't use them as frequently or they're a little unsightly. We'll talk more about how you can use these concepts in just a moment. For living room storage, I like to use baskets, boxes, and trays. I use baskets for so many things. One just next to the sofa filled with throw blankets. I also like to use them underneath our side table to store all of our magazines that I like to reference for design or recipes and things like that. And baskets on our bookcases, which again, serve as a decorative element, but stow away unsightly things like DVDs and batteries. Boxes are another great decorative way that you can blend design and function. In the living room, I like to use boxes on our coffee table to store our remote controls, but they are also great for holding coasters. Boxes can be used to hide away little things like keys that you don't wanna lose as well, and your living room is just, just happens to be a great place to store them. It's also a great place for any kind of little keepsakes and knickknacks. Trays can be used on your bookcases or your coffee table. Trays are a really easy way to group things together and keep things out that you need frequently, like coasters. It's also a great place to stack some coffee table books and add a candle. Baskets are also perfect for keeping firewood accessible in the winter next to your fireplace in a really charming and cozy way. In the mud room, we use baskets for shoes and we have an abundance of them with three little girls and trays for our keys and sunglasses and oftentimes sunscreen. And hooks, of course, keep coats easily accessible while keeping them off of the floor. In your bedroom, a basket can be used on your nightstand if you have a shelf and a nook dedicated to it, next to a reading nook or your bed for magazines and books. It's a great place to keep them all corralled together. Trays are really easy to use. Another way you can integrate baskets into your bedroom is for dirty laundry. We have ours just next to our dresser. It keeps it really accessible and easy to use while making the unsightly dirty laundry feel less intrusive. You can also use trays in your bedroom to keep things like your rings or anything else that you don't want to lose on your bedside table. It also makes a beautiful display for a candle. 
In the laundry room, I like to use a tray to keep everything grouped together and corralled. We have jars of our cleaning detergents on there and it's nice to have them all in one place and if there's any mess, it doesn't go everywhere. You can use baskets in a laundry room both for caddies, for your cleaning supplies, and baskets for clean and dirty laundry. I love these laundry carts. They work so well and make it easy to tote them up and down the hallways. Now in the bathroom, you can use a caddy or a tray for soaps on your vanity, but you can also use trays inside of your cabinetry. You can maximize a lot of space in a little drawer by keeping it well organized in individual trays. I love these bamboo trays because they are so functional and they fit just perfect no matter what the size of your drawer is. Don't be afraid to add in a little texture or contrast. I love using some natural materials like wood. So this wood serving board, it's oversized, it really doesn't fit anywhere else unless I placed it on the counter itself. And it stows away so beautifully in our hutch. And it adds some warmth and color there. You can also add in some plants to bring it to life. You might also want to vary height so if you use something really high, you might want to counter it with something low. Open shelving is a great place to store similar items and then you can blend in some things from there. I like to kind of ground it with something a little bigger and more significant first and then work in those smaller pieces. Don't be afraid to stack them up to give them a little height and add a little more interest. As I mentioned before, Close storage is perfect for unsightly things, and there's nothing more unsightly than all of the snacks that the kids eat. So I like to keep those stored away in our cabinetry, in our pantry, in baskets. It also makes it really easy for them to grab and go. Whether they're grabbing a snack or packing their lunch, we keep everything stored away in these individual baskets so that they know, okay, this is the healthy snack basket and this is the special treat snack basket. Other things in our cabinets I like to keep stored away, I use bamboo trays for. I also love integrating like a Reva shelf to make items really easily accessible in the kitchen. I hope you click subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I look forward to seeing you again soon with some more decorative details you don't want to miss.